Hello everybody, my name is Samir Rohatia and I'm working as a business intelligence developer and also IT trainer, freelance basis. So here I'll be starting with the first uh, tutorial on uh, Microsoft Excel. So I'll be giving you an overview of this Microsoft Excel and then how it's all started. We'll be talking about the history part of Microsoft Excel. And then after this particular tutorial, then we will shift to the practical part. And uh, second tutorial then will be focusing on the various uh, other parameters and the features of Excel. So let us start with this first video on Microsoft Excel tutorials. So let us go to our presentation. So first of all, we'll be talking about what is a spreadsheet because as you know that Microsoft Excel is also known as a spreadsheet. It is, a, it is an example of a spreadsheet. So let us see what you mean by a spreadsheet. A spreadsheet is an electronic document in which data is arranged in the rows and columns of a grid and can be manipulated and used in calculations. So you can say that a spreadsheet is just like a table and table is consisting of rows and columns. The table is also known as a grid over here. So whenever we want to put the data in a table which is consisting of rows and columns, so that kind of thing is known as a spreadsheet. Data in a spreadsheet can be numeric values as well as text, formulas, references and functions. So as we know that in case of Microsoft Excel also, we can insert the numbers, tags, dates, currencies, we can put the formulas, we can give some references. Yeah, we'll be also talking in the further videos about the various kind of references available in Microsoft Excel. And uh, then we'll be also focusing on the function because functions are very, very important in Microsoft Excel. You should have a good grip on functions. So that is all these things are covered in this spreadsheet. Now the various examples of uh, spreadsheet are the very famous example is Lotus 1, 2, 3. I don't know that how many of you have heard about Lotus 1, 2, 3. So Lotus 1, 2, 3 it was one of the oldest uh, spreadsheet software. It was very, very popular in you can say 70s and 80s. And uh, this Lotus 123 was a product of IBM. And uh, before Microsoft Excel, this was the product that people were using. We are having Lotus 123, then we are having Microsoft Excel, uh, Google Sheet. Nowadays, Google Sheet is very, very popular. And uh, definitely, you must be knowing the basic difference between the Google Sheet and Microsoft Excel. So that will cover in the other video. So these are the three popular examples of uh, spreadsheet. Definitely Microsoft Excel is the popular tool over here. Everybody is talking about Microsoft Excel. Everybody is using Microsoft Excel. So Microsoft Excel is one of the most widely used spreadsheet and definitely it is covered in the Microsoft Office uh, suite. Most common uses of spreadsheet are to create budget. Yeah. When this uh, spreadsheet started, the main focus of the spreadsheet was on the accounting and finance department. Okay, So the majorly these two departments, they were using this uh, spreadsheet and uh, they wanted to create some budgets, uh, create some financial statements. We are having the profit and loss account and then the balance sheet. And then it is also used for creating the charts and graphs. As we know that in case of Microsoft Excel also, we can create the charts and graphs. And plus we are also using the same spreadsheet for storing the data. So these are the common uses of spreadsheet. Now within the business scenario also, we are using the spreadsheet for forecasting the future values, yeah, future performance. We are uh, using it for calculating the taxes and calculating the payroll within the company. It is also used for creating the charts and calculating the revenues. Now this is all about the spreadsheet. What is spreadsheet and what we can use in spreadsheet or how we can use in spreadsheet. So here we are having a brief introduction about spreadsheet and what we can do in spreadsheet. Now let us go to our main tool that is known as Microsoft Excel. As we know that Microsoft Excel is one of the most popular tool available in the data analytics market. It has been considered as the world standard because whenever a new tool is coming up, whenever a new spreadsheet is coming up, then they are definitely having the focus on the Microsoft Excel. That what are the features which are available in Microsoft Excel and how we can incorporate into our spreadsheet software. So Microsoft Excel, as we know that it's also an electronic spreadsheet program used for storing, organizing and manipulating the data. Whenever we are entering the data into Microsoft Excel, then we are having the cell and a cell is consisting of rows and columns. So that we'll see further in the practical part in the next video. Data can be text, numbers, formulas. Yeah, it can be uh, date also. Formulas are used to calculate the data found in other cells. So we know that there are in case of Microsoft Excel, we are having a lot of functions and formulas and uh, we use those things to do some calculations here. Yeah. I always say that we have to be very much proficient in the various functions which are available in Excel. 
Microsoft originally marketed a spreadsheet program called Multiplan in 1982. So before Microsoft Excel came, the Microsoft company, they launched a tool which was known as Multiplan and they launched in 1982. That Multiplan was also a spreadsheet program. Problem with this uh, Multiplan was this, that Multiplan was very popular in Europe, but in US, it was uh, very well overtaken by the Lotus 123. Now, uh, just to tell you that Lotus 123 is a software from IBM. So I don't know whether still it is current, uh, available or not. Maybe you can write down the comment section that whether this uh, Lotus 123 is still available or not. This multi-plan software could not withstand the popularity of Lotus 123. That's why it was a totally a failure product from Microsoft. Then came Excel. So after Multiplan was a failure, Microsoft launched Excel. Yeah, the first version was known as Excel 1.0. Very surprising, it was released for the Apple Macintosh. Uh, they were not having the first version of uh, Windows. They were having the first version for the, the Microsoft Excel. First version was for the Mac people. And it was launched in 1985. And the first Windows version was released in November 1987. So almost after two years, the Windows version was launched of uh, Microsoft Excel. Now, let us see that what are the various uses of Microsoft Excel. This is here, I'm giving you a brief idea. So Microsoft Excel, as I've already mentioned earlier, that is used for doing some mathematical calculations and some, you have to find some values, create some kind of formula. Uh, we want to find some average, sum, count, mean, max, percentage, etc. As we know that uh, Microsoft Excel, it's having an immense feature. Okay, There are a lot of features which are available in Microsoft Excel. And I don't know whether you have seen that, that book on, uh, on Microsoft Excel. It is known as uh, Microsoft Excel Bible. So I remember my MBA days when I saw that particular book in my library and uh, it was very very thick today also if you search on various platforms so you will be seeing the microsoft excel uh, bible sometimes it's very very difficult to go through all the pages of that book so i would say that even in microsoft excel if you are having let's say just 30 to 40 percent of the knowledge of micro microsoft excel i think so it is uh, still you are considered as a guru in microsoft excel because Covering all the 100% of Microsoft Excel, I would not say that it's uh, uh, impossible, but yes, it is not so easy. So Microsoft Excel is also used for the charts, graphs. It is also used as a database where we can store the data, where we can clean the data. There is also a, a separate uh, section in Microsoft Excel, which is known as Power Query. That also I'll be covering in the future videos that what kind of thing that we can do in Power Query, what kind of data cleaning, data transformation we can do in uh, Microsoft Excel. So that we'll see in the further videos. Now, when we are talking about Microsoft Excel, then we are also having these various terminologies. So we are having terminologies like workbook and worksheet. So what is workbook and what is worksheet? So in Excel, we perform work in a workbook. So whenever we open a Microsoft Excel file, that file is known as a workbook. Now within the workbook, we may have various worksheets. Okay, so whatever the sheets that we are having in Microsoft Excel in, in a particular workbook, they are known as worksheet. So here it is said that we can have as many workbooks open as we need and each one appears in its own window. So if we are uh, opening three, four workbooks, then they will open up in different windows and we can simultaneously, we can work with those different workbooks I'm talking about, not worksheet. The Excel workbook is having the extension .xls, okay, xlsx, earlier it was known as .xls, now it is having the extension .xlsx, so that is the file extension for the current Microsoft Excel file. Each workbook contains one or more worksheet, so as I said earlier that we are having different worksheets and those worksheets are part of a particular workbook. Each worksheet consists of individual cells, so there are so many cells. Each cell can contain a number, formula, text, date. A worksheet also has an invisible drawing layer which holds charts, images and diagrams. So this is also a very good feature in Microsoft Excel that if I want to paste a particular chart, if I want to paste an image, if I want to paste some kind of a diagram, then that is also possible in case of Microsoft Excel. Yeah, so that will be coming up in the future videos on Microsoft Excel. So stay tuned because this Microsoft Excel is one of the most important tool in the data analytics. Yeah, I have been conducting a lot of trainings, especially whenever I'm discussing with the students, yeah, the university students, then I always say that uh, you have to have a good command on Microsoft Excel. Even 
let's say you are learning Microsoft Power BI, Tableau, yeah, Luca Studio, MicroStrategy, but I would say that the uh, knowledge of Microsoft Excel is very, very important. Uh, it is used by all the companies, including I have seen in case of German companies also, they are still using Microsoft Excel, even though the latest tools have come up here. But uh, I would say that you should be having a good command on Microsoft Excel. So one by one, you can go through these videos, which are part of this tutorial and try to gain knowledge out of it and try to do a lot of practice. Yeah, because practice makes men perfect. So please do a lot of practice and uh, have a good grip on Microsoft Excel. Now, each worksheet in the workbook is accessible by clicking the tab at the bottom of the workbook. So we'll also see practically uh, well, yeah, what I mean by these particular two things. But as you must have seen that in the case of Excel, at the bottom area, we are having sheet one, sheet two, sheet three, etc. So this is what we are talking about. So we can click on the various tabs at the bottom of the workbook. And then I can go from sheet one to sheet two to sheet three and so on. So this is the brief idea about the workbooks and the worksheets. Uh, see, when you open the Microsoft Excel, so I'm having the Microsoft 365 version. I always say that you should be having the latest version of Microsoft Excel. If you are having, let's say, very old versions like Excel 2010 or 2013 or 2016, then please try to replace that old version with a new version. And if you are able to manage, then please try to go for the Microsoft 365. Yeah. Microsoft 365, you know that it's having the monthly subscription, so you can pay for it and it is very, very nominal. Yeah, just try to take it as an investment. So please uh, try to go for the latest version of Microsoft Excel and whatever I'll be showing you, those various uh, functions, there are a lot of new functions which are coming up in Microsoft Excel and those functions are always available in the Microsoft 365 version. If you are opening the old file, uh, old version, then definitely you will not find those functions. So this is the screenshot of the Microsoft 365 Excel. When you open the Microsoft Excel, then you get this first screen of Microsoft Excel. And uh, here you can see the blank workbooks. We'll be also seeing the various templates in the practical part in the next video. So this is the first screen of Microsoft Excel. When we click on this blank workbook, then this main screen comes over here in the Microsoft Excel. Just now we'll see the theoretical part here in this particular presentation, and then we'll be focusing on the practical part. So here we are having the quick access toolbar that we'll see. We are having the various tabs, the ribbons. Yeah, we are having the title bar over here. Formula bar is over here. We are having the search functions. Whenever you want to find a particular feature in Microsoft Excel, and sometimes it's very difficult to find in these various tabs. So what you can do, you can use this search facility over here. So that also we'll see practically. Then we are having here the ribbons and window controls, collapsing the ribbon button, etc. Uh, this is the main area, the sheet, where we are having the cell. Cell is consisting of the rows and columns, sheet tabs here, status bar. If you want to create a new sheet, then we have to click this plus sign over here. These are the page view buttons, horizontal scroll bar, vertical scroll bar. Here we can zoom the Microsoft Excel sheet. Yeah, so this is a, a good amount of overview about the main screen of Microsoft Excel. So with that, I would like to end this particular video. And in this video, we have seen a good introduction about Microsoft Excel. We have talked about the history of Microsoft Excel, how it started, and then what are the initial features about Microsoft Excel. Now in the next video, we'll be starting with the practical part and then we'll be seeing the main screen, the first screen, we'll be seeing how to enter the data, we'll be seeing how to create the various tabs and ribbons in Microsoft Excel and other things. So stay tuned and see you in the next video. Thank you very much.